Hey butterflies, it's your girl Pam. I am doing back to back to back to back videos. I'm trying to get them on out the way so I can get them out to you guys. I wanted to give you my take on the port. The port. Probably the best thing I've ever done as far as uh, the best decision thus far as far as, you know, um going on this breast cancer um diagnosis. Um, of course I was hesitant cause I didn't want to go under, but I know for a fact that it has made the process so much easier for me. Um, it has allowed them to have easy access, um, for drawing blood. It's had easy access to administer the chemo. Um, I have literally one prick. It is nowhere near invasive, like trying to get blood out of my veins. Um, I do put the lidocaine on there. Um, and one of the tricks, I'm still not sure that I did it right. So, cause it, I still felt the same, but, um, I'll tell you guys what the nurse told me. So the first time that I went, I rubbed in um the actual lana cane and she told me just to stick a big glob of it on there and then kind of just um cover it up so then i cover it up with a bandage so it doesn't excuse me get all over my clothes um and you do that about an hour before your visit so that you know it's pretty numb um, I still feel it, but like I said, it's not anywhere near as invasive as if I were getting blood drawn from my veins. So they end up using that for everything, like to flush your uh, saline. Now, a lot of people talk about they tasted saline when they have to wash the, the you know, the pour out. I've not tasted saline. I have taste, not tasted, but I've smelled, <laughs> I taste it. Ugh. I have, I've smelled it or it, I don't know if it's the chemo or if it's the saline. Something is strong when I leave there and come home and go to pee. It's something going on and it takes about a couple of days to get it out. So it might be the chemo. I don't know. Um, but yeah, between drawing blood doing the chemo, doing the flushing, um, and even like <clears throat> administering with the syringe, with the Benadryl and the, some of the other pre-meds. I never feel a thing. Never, never. After that first prick, I never feel a thing. So, um, it was the way to go. Now I'm not excited about my depletage and I'm going to just be honest with y'all. Um, but you know, I am a woman of color, so um, there's going to be a little bruising um, that is a little darker maybe than other other people that have other different melan melanin. Um, but this is where the actual port is, where they put the, um, the little needle in. Um, and then here is where the catheter is that goes into a vein that goes into my heart. And then that's how it's easier for them to, well, I guess the chemo gets around a lot quicker because, you know, it's pumping from the biggest vessel you got. So just, you know, you have to do what's right for you. Let me just put that out on the table. I'm telling you what worked for me, but you have to figure out what's right for you. Some people don't want to, you know, have to deal with the, the porta cap. That's fine. Um, I, it, it just worked for me um, because I'm already squeamish with needles and stuff. So anytime that I can alleviate any kind of additional <laughs> like pain or anything like that, then I'm, you know, I'm all for it. Um, the actual procedure um, you go in as an outpatient. I had to be there at 6.45 in the morning. No, 6.45? 5.45 in the morning. Um, they were starting at 7.30. We pretty much started on time. 
Um, I remember them having me move from the table that they rolled me down the hall with onto the table in the operating room. And then I don't remember nothing else. <laughs> I don't remember nothing else. Nothing. Um, I think when I came to, I was like, okay, we get ready to get started. They were like, we're already finished. I'm like, oh. So total time, I think they said it was maybe 45, 50 minutes. My doctor said that I have a small collarbone. So this right here, it was sticking out a lot more. It was a lot more pronounced at one point. But for some reason, it felt like it took... Like, it was tender for like, oh my God, I thought I was going to pull my neck out, like pull it. I thought that I was going to like try to get out of the bed, even, you know, just to get out of the bed normal. And I thought, oh my gosh, I am going to pull this thing out of my heart and I'm going to bleed to death because it really felt like that. But it wasn't, It you know, it had to just kind of, it, it was foreign in my body. It just wasn't wanting to be there and my body didn't want it there but after that first um time that they you know went in and um what's the thing called did the 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 to draw the blood and put the you know the actual needle in there it it settled it down I don't know maybe it was like okay now I know what I'm supposed to do so it was fine um <sighs> took a while for the like the sutures to come off um I didn't bother it I literally I just you know they were like just let them fall off by themselves and that's what I did whatever they told me to do that's what I did because I ain't want to mess up nothing I ain't want to you know so um but it took about 45 50 minutes and I was home by 11 they just wanted to make sure I was I, I was I think I was about home by 10, honestly, but they just wanted to make sure I was okay. I rested the rest of the day and I went back to work the next day. So, yeah. So I'm hoping that that will help give you a little bit of information on a port. Um, if you're trying to make your decision on whether or not um, you want to get one, do what's best for you. Do your research. Um, if, you know, if, if you don't want one, don't make anybody make you do one. Um, they can do it intravenously, um, do chemo. Um, they have the um, pick line. They have different things. So um, the, the, the port was just the way to go for me. So you got to do what's best for yourself. Always look out for yourself. I always advocate for yourself. And, um, you know, it, it, you'll make the best decision for whatever your needs are. So don't forget to subscribe hit that notification bell. Make sure you do a thumbs up and we'll see you the next time, butterflies. If you know somebody that this will help, go ahead and share it so they can kind of have an idea of, you know, the good, the bad, and sometimes the ugly. <laughs> All right. Love you, butterflies.